since Sky is not here, our favorite Canadian, Dad of the Year, notorious good gambler, is going to take over uh, our fantasy and uh, give us an update on our teams and the fans. So what do we got, Decker? Fantasy is reality in the world today. Well, let's let's start with the fans because the fans are a little bit more interesting than our fantasy standings by the looks of it here because not a lot changed between the five of us. Um, but in the fan fantasy standings, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I I believe we have a new podium contender in Jack. Is does Jack ring a bell to anybody? Who the I'm pretty sure Jack's new. Jack Who the hell sounds, is Jack. Right? Who's Jack? And so Jack is now sitting in third place. He he his teams are the O Rangers, the Crazy Cat's Eyes, Green Ducks, and Team Momo. And Jack has moved into third place with 357 points. So shout out to you, Jack. We haven't seen wow. your name on the on the top of the charts here. So glad to see you battling it out with uh some some resident guys of the show so good for Hell you yeah second Green place huge for him yeah. too oh huge yeah second place we have our favorite dan dan don don dan dan <laughs> doing it again with the likes of team galactic crazy cat's eyes the hazers o rangers sitting at 363 points which goes to show Jack's not that far back. Six points back of Dan Dan. Dan Dan's been up there all season. Um, and hopefully Dan Dan can pull this out because I'm rooting for you, Dan Dan. Yeah, and- I will I will say that with Dan Dan, like the only team that did well for him today was the Hazers, and he has not really missed a beat. Like Yeah. Uh, uh, or Dan crazy. Squared or whatever else you want to call uh, it. You know the name. You know, I know the name. I know. But for any for any of the listeners, he's also Dan Squared. We just love Dan Dan, so we're sticking Dan's with it. Dan's a second and, par. And also, Dan Dan, don't feel offended that we still call you that, even though you changed your name. It's because you are so loved on the show. That's why we stuck with the Dan Dan. We all love it here. We just want to stick with it. You're still Dan to the second power to everybody else, but you'll forever be Dan Dan to us. Um, let's move it on here to our first place championship leader right now. And it goes out to the most hypocritical marble in the world, and that's Tumult. Tumult is on top of the standings. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I, the most hypocritical marble in the world. <laughs> he is, man. He's out there picking everybody but Balls of Chaos, man. Like, oh my god, no, Balls Tumult. of Chaos are on his team. They are, they are. But like, he'll pick Crazy Cat's Eyes every day of the week. You know, Tumult. Yeah. Uh, Tumult's got the Crazy Cat's Eyes on his squad. Balls of Sca- Balls of Chaos, Cobalt. Balls of Scales. Balls of Chaos, Cobalt, and uh, the Marbeats, a.k.a. the Shining Swarm. So, uh, two malts up there. How many points does two malt have? 374, so quite the lead on Dan Dan. 11 points on Dan Dan. Um, but forever is this going to be a battle. This is good going down to GP12. I like to say it a lot, but fantasy is fun, guys. So, keep keep those picks going. Keep trying your best because somebody's going to take two malt and I feel like it could be you. So get out there, make those selections. Yeah. Really stoked that like not a lot of the same teams at the top, like everybody's got like crazy cat's eyes, but like other than that, all top three members of the fan standings are mostly different teams, uh, yeah. which is really cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. It's so, nice to see. And, it, and it's yeah. a tight race. You know, that's really what we want in fantasy. Stoked. Uh, uh, moving on though to our fantasy, nothing really changed, boys. So here we go. Sitting in Galac fifth, we got our favorite, good son, terms best friend, Sky, holding it. Our down. favorite commissioner too. You're our uh, second favorite though. No. I'm I'm my own favorite commissioner. That's why I didn't bring it up. So, just <laughs> so. <laughs> um, yeah. So moving on, Sky's got. Team Galactic, Glaciers, Wisps, and the Bees, but we don't want to talk about them. Sitting at 205 points. Who really did well for him today? I guess Wuspy did all right. Um, Starry, not so much. Fell back to 11th place. Not much to talk about with his squad. It's actually very mediocre. Um, 
his best team is Team Galactic with 72 points, and that's not saying much. Let's move on to fourth place. We got. Do term. me a favor. I don't want fourth. Uh, just skip mine. Just tell the point total. All right. Well, Baron, <laughs> I don't want fourth. <laughs> 219 <laughs> points. Still has a 14 point lead on Sky. I mean, he's not doing the greatest. And he's obviously living and dying on the pinkies every weekend with uh, 13 points. But. Yeah, he doesn't want me to talk about it. So let's move on to the Great Sphinx, Nonagon. Nonagon had an okay race. I guess he had uh, the Balls of Chaos doing well. They're up at 97 points now. Uh, had Thunder. Not much to say there. Didn't do so hot. And uh, who else was racing for... Uh, Mocha. We had Mocha today. Mocha had a great race. So, I mean, not bad for Nonagon sitting up there. Um how many points is Nonagon sitting at? 237 points. It's a decent haul. It, it's enough to stay in third and maybe climb up to second. No way you're ever catching me, Nonagon. But h- how did you feel about your team, buddy? Honestly, it's it's kind of like this every week. But this week, it was probably the most dramatic with one on third, one in fifth, and then two just <laughs> with goose eggs. It is, yeah. It's like this all the time. <laughs> it's oh, never the same team. <laughs> <laughs> well, your pinkies always get goose eggs. Don't don't compare yourself to me. They got I, one point yesterday. There are pinkies. You know that, Nonagon. I know we're in fantasy right now, but I just wanted to bring this up. I was thinking about it today while watching the race. I don't know if I've had one of my teams not in the points this year. I don't remember the last Ooh. time. Oh, no, Prim. Prim. Huh? Prim was the last time. Ah, uh, yeah. Prim, Prim every Prim. time. Prim. 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 Prim's Prim every the time. only marble that yeah. ever get, yeah. doesn't yeah. get in the points Hold on. For Yellow Eye once, rapidly once. So. Oh, really? You know, yeah. Ah. Okay. It just feels like wow. it never happens. Maybe it's because it's only one marble at a it's time. Less than the rest three of, of my other marbles <laughs> Maybe, are yeah. up there. But uh, anyway. Rapidly did have that, that, that one race where, uh, you know, MSW podcast talked about that for 21 minutes. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, that well, we, one. Well, we got to talk. We got to talk about Hector here, guys. Hector's still sitting in second place. There's, like I said, there's been no movement, but the Green Ducks finally, finally, they finally quack, showed up for me. Through. Quack, they quack, broke the ice. Quack, Bombay, quack, Bombay, quack, Bombay. quack, quack. <laughs> Quack, 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 quack. I love the half-hearted quack from you, not again. Quack. Ducks fly together, baby. Let's go. They basically doubled their point total today. They're sitting at fifty-eight points. Pretty much, yeah. Scored twenty-six on the weekend. Fantastic showing by them. The Cobalts as well, staying consistent. They're one of those teams you got to watch out for. Still up there battling for the championship and at least for the podium. They had a great run today with Royal. Um and then the Marbeats didn't really do much and of course we have the Minties. Mm, they're still there. They're still there. Yeah. We're still there. Yeah, Marbeats and Minties are still there. They're still there. And, they and exist. They're they're better than a lot of the lower half teams. Um, Hector sitting at two hundred and fifty two yeah. points has a nice margin now on Nonagon with fifteen yep. points, but still not enough. Still yeah. not enough. I will say I will say I have narrowed the gap to you, Decker. By how many it's points? Hector? Only fifty-one. A whole, a whole two points. <laughs> it's <laughs> only a fifty-one point lead. Now. Only a fifty-one yeah. point lead. Down from fifty-three. I'm happy with that. Hey, take it. Take take All the right, small ones. All right, Decker. this is your time to shine. Yeah, I'm probably gonna play you know some Randy shine. Savage music. Right I don't want to shine this. too much, but I've said it before. The cream always rises to the top. <laughs> the Macho Man. <laughs> no okay please never call yourself that again yeah um yeah my team was just you know what they've been doing all year very very consistent scoring in the points it wasn't my greatest re- race weekend like hector said he gained two points on me Woohoo! but i got a 51 point <laughs> stranglehold on this competition um not much else to say let somebody battle me I want this to be fun. It's not fun right yeah, now. I'm working on it. I feel like I'm Red working Eye. on it. I feel like Red Eye, and I've stolen all the fun from fantasy. So, hopefully, Hector yeah. and the Green Ducks can mount some sort of comeback. Listen, man, you just gotta yeah. own it. I mean, like, <laughs> oh, I love it, but you know what? It'd be fun to like go neck and neck with somebody to the end, and then just yeah, it gets kill lonely it. at the top. Yeah, I yeah. get it. Yeah. Well, I'm doing my best. Okay. Before we move on, can we talk about how Decker's math is on point right now? He, he did like. 
the gaps between all of us. What is that yeah. in your head? You know, that was pretty yeah. good, eh? Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. so yeah. good. You sure? Hey, hey, yeah, you trying to make this a math podcast? Math and reading. Woo! Yeah, yeah. you trying to make this a math podcast, Um I also Hell do no. want to mention uh, between first and last place, ninety-eight points. <laughs> yeah, <Yikes. laughs> poor guy. Poor guy. <laughs> I, I mean, this is a spot where he wanted to be. So yeah, you know, yeah. Shout yeah. out to Sky.